Hi everybody, it's Annette from The Art of Intuition, and today we're gonna lighten up the mood a bit and have a fun discussion about the true sign. I hate to box myself in like this, but for me, this has always been a big sign. So you'll have to look at your own reality and see how much this plays out for you. But a sign that someone's gonna play a bigger role in your reality. They're gonna be around longer. They're gonna help you, and by being around longer, help you clear maybe a very big program you've been working on. They are going to be remembered in some sense later on because they played a big role. Now, there are sometimes this might not always hold true, but I venture to think it doesn't hold true if I look back, you know, 15, maybe 15 years ago, maybe five or 10 years ago, but I don't know because I don't know if I would have noticed it. So we're going to play with this idea and you can kind of extrapolate it and see what you think. For me, the real sign someone's going to play a big role in my reality is that it takes them a long time to anchor into the physical in my reality. And what I mean by that is they are kind of on the peripheral for sometimes years before they actually cement in where I can say they're part of my physical reality. Someone I might see on a weekly basis, someone I might talk to regularly, someone who is really assisting me with something, clearing out something. And I'm gonna give you a couple of examples. So there have been some people who've come into my life that, let me preface it with something else first. So when we're into higher consciousness, we always talk about being able to see the field and you're being able to see multiple timelines, different frequencies, different, what your human's gonna look at as a future, with anything of a different frequency hasn't anchored in yet. There's a reason why, you know, it's not aligned yet. It's not time for it yet, meaning it's not aligned yet. But you're gonna start to notice that there are gonna be people that just get your attention. And they might not talk to you the first time you see them. They might talk to you for two seconds. It might be a conversation, but it's not like a earth-breaking conversation in any way. You might not see them again for six months. All of a sudden you see them again. You might not even talk to them that time. And then you might see him four months later. And you might play this, this, it's kind of like a cosmic dance. I've heard someone call it a cosmic dance. Where it's just, it's just not like you meet them and bam, you have a conversation and they play this large role. At least not when I look at my realities now. And I wonder if people who had played, played a larger role years ago, if I was at this level of consciousness, I would notice it. But there's a reason for this. Like if I go to a place and I meet someone that I've you know, met before and I talk to them, I normally know that's not gonna be a long connection. It's probably just gonna be a couple hours, you know, because our energy fields have not aligned in that moment anyway. Well, let me preface it like that. In that moment, this is not gonna be something that's gonna be a long, a long-term thing because our energy fields have not really tried to align. So I don't see this person lasting very long. And I'm going to say this, and every time I say this, I always feel like it comes off kind of like she's really, <laughs> she's kind of cold, which I, I have gotten, you know, pegged for before, but it doesn't really matter to me if I'm going to have a two minute conversation with someone or two hour conversation with someone, how compatible our fields are. You know, it doesn't matter. Technically, we're fulfilling some type of contract. Energetically, we're attracting on some level. There's something, information that might have to be given, information has to be received energetically, sometimes verbally. But it doesn't really matter. They're gonna be in and out, and my light body, my soul body can get me through any conversation for, for a couple hours. I mean, it doesn't really matter if we're synced or not. But the people who are gonna stay in your life longer, you might start to notice that they're in and they're out. You notice them. The more conscious you are, the more you're going to start to pick these people out where you just know, oh, I got business with that person. Oh, I got business with that person. I wonder how long this is going to take. And I remember I mapped it out with a person a few years ago where I met this person two and a half years before they actually were in my reality, but I'd see them here and there. And even though we never really spoke over that two and a half year period, I had seen in my dream state that we were going to have some realities together. So I knew it was going to come at some point. I didn't know that massive impact. I figured, I felt it was a big impact, but I didn't really know the massive program clearing I was going to be clearing out with this person at that time, you know, like, I guess that was like six years ago now or four years ago now. At that moment, I didn't realize that. 
but they came in slowly and there's a reason because your fields are sinking and then they go away and I would clear that person would clear and then we come back even though we never speak the speaking does not matter don't ever depict someone you talk to as them being important that's how the humans do it that's not how we do it here you'll know who stands out you'll know who you got business with you'll just know because they will be in and out They'll come in, they'll go out. You might not see them for eight months and all of a sudden they come back in again and they come back in again. They're just gonna be there for a longer period of time. So there is a, a reason why you have to sync up and that syncing up can take years to do that. It is not a quick thing to sync your fields. So they're kind of clearing out anything they've got to clear out to get to the frequency they need to be to to hold the reality with you and you need to get to the frequency you need to get to to be able to hold the reality with them. So you're gonna see these people and I remember by the time that past one came in, I thought we would never happen. And it's funny because if they don't have that sight, they don't know that. So they're introducing themselves like, you know, you never met them or <laughs> and you're just like, tick tock. I thought this would never happen. That's why I say we never really get excited about anything in, in a sense because we see it all coming ahead of time. So we're not shocked. When it finally happens, we just more have this thing like, holy crap, I thought this would never happen. I've been working on this reality for two and a half years, you know? Thank goodness it's finally here, but you really can't. At that point, you can't really tell them that. But it's just kind of fun to watch it. And I've been watching it kind of start to take place again with someone I saw a couple of years ago, brief conversation with them, not a, an in-depth conversation. And I've noticed them kind of always in the peripheral a little bit and haven't really spoken to them since two and a half years ago, but in the last six months, they're always kind of in the peripheral, always kind of around, which tells me they're gonna have a big impact going forward. I think I know what that impact is. I'm not 100% sure how that impact's gonna be, but you're gonna start to notice that those are the people that are gonna have that impact, and you're gonna know it, and you're gonna start to be able to pick them out, and whether you've had a conversation or not, <laughs> Whether you've met them or not, whether you, you've never met them or not, and it doesn't even have to extend to people like are physically in your reality. It can even be someone you see online, and you can be like, oh, I'm going to meet that person. I'm going to have reality with that person. They don't even know it yet. I have no idea how it's going to happen, but I just know because they keep coming in and out. You might even start to see it in the dream state sometimes in the beginning. That's how we see it. Now, I know I've gotten to a point I don't have to see it in the dream state. That's not... I have sight in all the states now, so I don't have to just see it there, but you're just gonna know. If it's taking a long time, don't be impatient with that. There's a reason it's taking a long time because everyone's gotta be in a certain alignment for the reality to start un unfolding. So don't get into this human mindset of, oh, I gotta push this, you know? Especially once you know you're supposed to come together, I, I've gotta push this now because they're not doing it, so now I gotta do it. A lot of times I'll, if I'm near the person, I'll just do a lot of energetic, I'll just speak to them energetically for a while and you know, just do that through my field. I'll kind of get a little bit of feedback on where they are and I'm like, okay, is this the night? Is this gonna start to unfold or not, not yet, huh? Okay, well, I'll see you again in a few months or whatever. And the time doesn't really matter. It's the alignment that you're trying to get to. And even I would venture to bet, even if you tried to push it, it would unravel. It, would, it wouldn't hold yet because they have a bigger role to play. It's not a, a quickie in a sense. You know, they have a bigger role to play. That does not have to mean it's a romantic role. You know, it can be any role. It can be some big push in, in, in a business partnership sense. It could be a friend that you've noticed on the peripheral for a long time and all of a sudden, and you can even look back. Look back at your past relationships the ones that lasted a long time, and if you had met them maybe years before, and they were kind of in and out a lot. The in and out a lot is usually the, the true sign that there's something coming together. It's just not quite ready yet. So look at who is in and out. Look at who's in your peripheral. Look at, like if a human looked at it, they would be like, you people have absolutely no contact. How in the world do you know you're gonna have any kind of reality with this person? But you're like, oh yeah, I know. <laughs> It's just TikTok right now. I'm just kind of, kind of just keeping an eye on the reality to see is this is this the time or are we gonna we're gonna play around with it a little bit longer. So you can just have a little fun with it and start noticing who you notice and who jumps out, and you just kind of know. You just even in the short term, you still kind of just know. You just might see someone and go, yeah, tonight I'm here because I need to talk to that person. I don't think I'll ever see them again, but tonight I need to talk to that person. 
like I said, the ones that take longer, there's a reason they're taking a long time to kind of to materialize in your reality. So don't be impatient with it. You know, there's a lot going on behind behind the scenes in a sense, energetically. Just being near the person, you're activating the field, they're activating your field, you're checking in to see, hey, can we do this reality now or do we still have, I still got some other stuff to work out or do you still have other stuff to work out? Usually it's both. Both has other stuff to work out before we can come together and actually create a reality. And you're gonna go look, be able to look back. I promise you, there are gonna be some that stand out that go, oh yeah, I met that person two years ago and then nothing really happened and they came back in and I talked to them for a little while, then they were gone again. And now they're, now we're like, you know, now I see them all the time and now we have this reality together. So it's a good, um, a good fun game to play. So, okay, have fun. And keep practicing the art of intuition.